Over the past six years, I have made hundreds of macros to save me time. Some have worked better than others, but in this video, I'll break down the top five macros that save me the most time in my work. I'm Mo, I help professionals and small business owners like you make more money and stop wasting time. The way I build these macros is with Keyboard Maestro. It's a super powerful Mac app that lets you automate pretty much any work that you do. You don't need to know any coding or have any previous experience with it. So let's get into the first macro that saves me tons of time. So the first macro lets me instantly copy text from anywhere on the screen. So it looks like this. I run a shortcut and you can see it appears here, OCR selected area. When I press that, it pops up this little crosshair and then I can select some area of the screen. And now when I go to paste, so I'll press Command V to paste, you can see it pastes in all the text from the image that I just screenshotted. So this is something that used to waste me a lot of time. You know, if there was a PDF that I couldn't copy text directly from, or, you know, if there was an image that I couldn't copy text from, it would work uh, for images as well. Um, it would waste a lot of time to have to retype out all that text manually. Whereas this macro does it instantly. I can grab text from anywhere on the screen that I want. So coming into Keyboard Maestro, this is what that macro looks like. It's just a couple actions here. The first one runs a little command, uh, which pops up that screenshot uh, crosshair like this. And then the action below it, once you take that screenshot, just filters it. It reads that screenshot with text recognition and saves the result of that text to the clipboard where you can then paste it in. So there's also one little action in the middle here, which just says that if you press the escape button while the screenshot window is up, then it will cancel the macro and it won't try to search that image for text. But as you can see, it's just a couple of actions, very simple, and yet it saves a ton of time whenever you need to copy some text that can't be copied normally by selecting it with the mouse. By the way, you can download this macro and all the other macros I'll show in this video down in the description completely for free if you wanna try them yourself. All right, now let's take a look at the second macro that saves me a ton of time every week. So it's this one here, the weekly review macro. I'm gonna press this and this will do a ton of actions by itself automatically. So as you can see, it's exporting my entire Keyboard Maestro library it's exporting my calendar and it exports my contacts. And then finally it exports my Anki collection, which is a flashcard app. So that was doing a ton of actions right there completely by itself. All I had to do was run the macro and that saved a ton of time without any manual actions on my part. So this is what the macro looks like. It's doing a few different things here, which I'll walk you through. So first it was exporting my Keyboard Maestro macro. So it runs an action to activate Keyboard Maestro. And then it actually runs another macro. So that other macro is here, the backup Keyboard Maestro library macro. Basically this is pressing this menu item up here. So file, export, export all macros as a folder, which you can see here. So it can interact directly with menu items. And then coming back to the main macro, it does similar steps to export the calendar and to export my contacts and Anki collection. So those look like this. So the calendar one, it opens calendar. It waits till calendar's at the front. It exports with the export menu. And then it does a similar thing for the contacts export as well. It opens contacts, exports with that menu, and then saves it to a particular folder on my computer. So this macro also does a couple other things that I won't get into in this video, but it shows just how powerful macros can get. If you want me to personally help you make custom macros like this, you can sign up for a free coaching call with me using the top link in the description below, and I'll get you set up with some custom macros to save you hours every week. All right, let me show you the third macro that saves me a ton of time every week. So normally when you click on a YouTube short, 
uh, you get stuck in this infinite scroll, you end up wasting a bunch of time even though you only wanted to watch a single YouTube short. So this macro that I'm about to show you actually fixes this problem. So let me enable it here. I'm going to enable this macro group which has uh, the macro inside of it. And what this does is that whenever you click on a YouTube short, as soon as that short loads, it automatically gets turned into a full screen video. So you don't even have the option to start scrolling because, well, it isn't a YouTube short anymore. It gets turned into a full sized video. So this can save a ton of time every week because it just prevents you from watching YouTube shorts on your computer. And here's what the macro itself looks like. It's just four actions here. The first one will capture the URL. So whenever you uh, go to a new web page and the title of the web page you're on changes, then it will capture the URL. So you can see here it's saying YouTube, um, and then it has the URL to this tab that we're on. And then basically it searches that URL. And if it has shorts in it, then it will replace that shorts URL with the URL to watch it in full screen instead of in the shorts window. And then finally, it just sets the front browser back to that new URL that it created, which is the full screen as opposed to the shorts URL. So this is incredibly handy and saves me a crazy number of hours each week because it totally prevents me from watching YouTube shorts. All right, let's turn to the fourth macro that saves me time every week. And that one is based in Obsidian where I take notes. So often I'll come up and press this record button. And now I'll just say a few things into the microphone. Since I press that, it's recording what I'm saying. So I use this to take notes and make plans for the following day and so on. Then when I'm done, I can press the stop button. So I press that stop button and you can see it placed this recording into the current note. So this is all fine and good, but now let's start to use some macros to speed up the next part of the process. So the first macro I will activate and I just press a keyboard shortcut and you can see it now says that this is transcribed. And then a few seconds later, it pastes in the transcription and then it popped up a little uh, text on the screen saying that the transcription was successful. So this has the text of everything that we said, and I'm just going to format this a little bit and make it on a few different lines. And then this actually brings us to a related macro that I like to use, which when I press will format all the notes on the page. It will put them into sentence format. So if there was stuff that got messed up with the transcription, like if there were lowercase sentences, then running the macro would fix those. So actually let's put it back. I'll show you an example of what that looks like. Um, so I'll just add some bad formatting in here. I'll get rid of some periods and now I'll run that macro again. And you can see it makes all these notes super clean and formats them nicely for me to be able to read easily. So if I had to do this manually, you know, transcribing some audio and then cleaning up the transcript myself, that would waste a bunch of time. But this saves me a ton of time since I have to do this literally every single day of the week. So in Keyboard Maestro, these are the two different macros that I just showed. So one to transcribe my Obsidian notes, so to transcribe that audio file, and the second one to format it nicely with the cleaned up text like this. So if you want to look into these and how they work, again, you can download them in the description below. Now let's turn to the fifth and final set of macros that I use to save me time every week. So in Finder, I often have to do things like merging PDF files or converting different files between file types. So like converting these WebP files to PNGs or an MOV file to a GIF file. And that's a complete waste of time when you have to open up some website to convert your files and hope you don't get malware on your device. But all of that is fixed with this simple macro that I press in Keyboard Maestro. So I press Command Shift F on the Finder to convert my files. And then I can select from a list of items here. So if I pressed Merge PDFs, then it asks me what um, I want the name of the PDF to be. So I'll say Merged File and press Enter. And now you can see it pops out a PDF here, which is the combination of all these PDFs that I had in this folder. 
or if I have some WebP files and I want to convert those to PNGs, then I would click this macro here. And now you can see it pops out those PNG files, which is awesome. It just took a split second. And I'll show you one final example to convert an MOV file to a GIF. So I'll run the macro and I'll do convert MOV to GIF and I'll press OK. And then in a second, that spits out a GIF of that file from below. So I have some different variations of these for different file types. These are the main ones I use, but if I wanted to convert between other file types, I could just make more macros for those. And in Keyboard Maestro, this is that folder. It contains all of those macros here. So this again is incredibly useful and saves me a ton of time every single week. But now that you know the basics of what Keyboard Maestro is capable of, you might like this video next, which talks about 10 of my best macros in Keyboard Maestro.